What is going on everyone? We're back again with another video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the Detroit Tigers in this one. This is a very interesting team heading into next year, so I just want to get right into this video. So the Detroit Tigers are a very interesting team right now. I mean, they haven't made the playoffs since 2014, so it's been a little bit since they've really done anything in the league. But I think this past season, they have proved that this young kind of squad they got going into next year is actually going to be very good. And I have a hot take that they win the AL Central. And I do believe there will be postseason baseball at Comerica Park next year. So there's a lot of reasons I believe this. So let's just get right into those. If you look at this team on paper, a lot of young rookies on the squad. I mean, I, I just expect them to get a couple more guys, which they've already been doing. They've, they've shown us to spend money. We all know that Miguel Cabrera is off the books. And he was, you know, he was definitely a lot of money to keep him there, obviously. But he was one of their all-star players. So they're not going to get rid of him. But that money is coming off the books now. So that means they can spend it on a lot of their talent, which is very good for the team, um, you know, looking to actually win so this is definitely a possibility of you know the, the, the Tigers actually getting guys and actually signing players which they've already been doing you can see this with Kenta Maeda signing for uh, the Tigers you know right away from the twins so that was an interesting one I'm surprised the twins didn't want to re-sign him but that's one of their first moves that they have made this offseason actually you know try to prove themselves that they are going to be put in this position to win this division and it's still very early on in this, you know, offseason. We're only in December, you know, at the start. So a lot of time left in this offseason to really get it. The winter meetings could be a very vital, uh, you know, part for this squad. As those are coming up over the next couple of days, which would be very exciting. So, you know, they have the re obviously the rest of December to sign. And then, you know, they even have into January probably a little bit. So we'll see what they end up choosing to do. I, you know, I think it'd be very interesting. You know, I think they should definitely look at a guy like Trevor Bauer. I'm very high on that man. Obviously played great in Japan that past season. So I think it'd be very exciting to have him back in the league and Detroit would be an interesting spot for him to try to make this postseason push and if you look at this team last season they went 78 and 84 and they actually surprised a lot of teams and you actually look at their record compared to other teams in the league it's very interesting they had the same record as Boston and obviously it's a different division so you know you got to take that into account they only had one more loss than San Francisco which is pretty interesting but yeah the AL Central is still really weak in my opinion and that's just how it is across the board I mean the teams are just not good in in, in that division in general it hasn't been competitive in a while but maybe Detroit can kind of change that you know obviously the twins are super competitive now you know they seem to be you know making the right moves um you know over the last couple years so they finally got back in the playoffs if they're competitive the, the Tigers could be competitive I don't think Cleveland's really going to be competitive at all and then the Royals and White Sox obviously not so yeah it would be pretty interesting to see what happens with the rest of this you know this rest of this division but it is very weak that it's very possible that one of these teams like Detroit could definitely end up winning Especially taking a look at their contracts, it's actually pretty interesting across the board. So obviously they're, they're paying the most for Baez right now. His contract is done in 2027, so they're stuck with him for another four years. But you know, I, I you know Baez is such like a weird player to me. Like I know a lot of people don't like him, but you know it makes sense at least. But he's such a weird player, you know. So he'll be there at shortstop for a little bit. So you have that locked up, which is still an interesting contract. But pretty much all their players are in arbitration right now, so there's, they don't really have many free agents in general. And right now they've only committed about 62 million dollars to their team so there's still a lot of options that they can definitely get their estimated payroll is supposed to be around 82.3 million right now is still you know they still can spend a lot of money here um, to actually make this team good especially considering i'm pretty sure their payroll last year was a bit higher so the tigers payroll last year was about 122 million so they definitely have a lot of room to spend in this category and we'll see who they're actually going to get able to get you know so it's going to be interesting you know they have like 40 million to work with if that expected goes through with the arbitration and stuff like that you know so there's still a lot of guys they could bring to this you know town and this uh, this whole city and it'd be very interesting to see you know what's gonna happen with this squad because like i said this squad is mainly young players i mean you know, we obviously have carpenter on this team very young player from the draft most of their players have been from the draft um, or have been traded so it's very interesting obviously casey mize is still here torkelson has been a really good player uh, especially for the tigers recently so it's going to be pretty interesting moving forward for this squad. And they even have guys like, you know, Mark Hanna still here for another year. So he, you know, he, he still has that contract. And then Carson Kelly is still on that $3.5 million contract. So only four guys are really on contract. Everyone else in arbitration. So, you know, looking at the fridge at market, a lot of guys they could pick up. It's just going to be, you know, interesting if they're actually going to get these guys to sign with the team. So looking at the Tigers forward, you know, this team's going to be very good. You know, they could sign a couple more players. I think they'll be good. And, you know, they can even make trades if they really wanted to. It's, gonna, it's up to them what they want to do. But overall, I'm very excited to see how this you know, squad is going to do next year. I mean, I didn't really mention their prospects yet. This is a category where they're looking pretty good in it, I would like to say. They're not like the best in the league, obviously, but I don't think they're the worst in the league. 
Obviously, their number one is Max Clark. I mean, that kid's gross, but he still has a lot of time before I think he's actually league eligible and just in general to be pretty good. His ETA right now is 2026, so you still have him coming up. I think that was still a really good draft pick for him last year, even though it's not going to help him immediately. You have Colt Keith, who I actually have seen a little bit. Um, he's estimated to be next year. He's in AAA right now, and he's actually been a pretty good player that plays, you know, he plays third base and second base. So I have seen him a little bit as well. Jackson Job, I've heard of as well, right handed pitcher, estimated to be up 2025. And he's actually been pretty solid from what I know about him. I've seen Ty Madden pitch, I'm pretty sure. He's estimated to supposed to be next year as well. So they have a decent amount of players that they could uh, use in their farm system for next year or even trade base. So it's definitely going to be exciting to see what the Tigers come up with next year and see what their record is going to be. But I would like to say I'm pretty confident that this team is definitely going to make the playoffs over the Twins because they haven't done anything. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Do you guys like my hot take that the Tigers will be in the postseason? What do you guys think? It's been since 2014 since this team has been in the postseason. So been a really long time since they've been in there. But what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comment section below. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone.